Guess who's Bezek? Hey, what's going on? Mikey B with Off Work Sports. Got to show my face once in a while. It was cold in Florida for a little bit, you know. I had a couple of days about 55 degree weather, so I'm a little bit angry. Anyhow, getting into the NBA Off Work. It is nuts. Carmelo Anthony returns. We got new stars that are being born in the NBA. Uh, but the one talking point again we got to get into a guy that's been consistent, uh, that's going to be the Oscar Robinson of this decade, and that is going to be James Harden. This guy, he dribbles a lot. By the way, I love dribblers. My, my favorite players, I like guys with hop dribbles. Okay, James Harden doesn't have a hop dribble. A hop dribble is like Jamal Crawford. Uh, Steph Marbury had a little bit of that. Iverson definitely could, could do a hop dribble. Um, uh, Steve Francis is a hop dribbler. You want me to go down? Um, a guy, a guy, another guy who's at, um, ah, Lillard has a little bit in him. Um, but hop dribblers really excite me because, you know, somebody's going to get shook because you're going to have to choose which way to go on a hop dribbler. Okay. It's either left or right. When he's hopping right, he can keep going right, speed past you, or he's going to cross you up. And you got no choice because, because he has the momentum. So, Anyhow, James Harden is a still dribbler with a little bit of hop who is tearing up the league, averaging about 38.5 points per game, five rebounds. I believe it's almost 8.5 to 9 assists. I should have my stats right, but it is tremendous. It is almost past 10 games in a season, and this guy is proven to be a gem. You know, one of the best trades the Oklahoma City Thunder ever made. Incredible move for them in getting James Harden. And now, throughout his career, has proved dividends. Even though they haven't gone to a championship, he's definitely brought people to the floor recognizing the Houston Rockets. I would even say more so than Tracy McGrady. He's surpassed Steve Francis. He may be the French face of the franchise right next to Yao Ming at this point. Um, but I want to get into the Rockets situation after proclaiming and, and kind of riding Harden's coattails. Gerald Green had an injury. They thought it was a foot injury. They said he'd be out for the year. I haven't heard that much more news back about Gerald Green, but who stepped up is Ben McLemore has been able to step up. Daniel House has been able to step up. Are they as consistent as Mr. Gerald Green? Ben McLemore is getting there, but definitely Gerald Green is a is a strong contributor and one of those guys. If God, if God has a power, if there's a way he can get this guy to Germany to do whatever Kobe did that year for his knee. I mean, if they can get Gerald Green back this year, it's going to be really, really scary on the part of the Houston Rockets. I mean, really scary. The, the other part of this is going to be the fact that um, they I, I feel they need another big, okay? I don't know why Kenneth Farid is not back on his team, okay? I don't understand it. Get another defensive-minded big in there. They just let Ryan Anderson go. Is there a potential to bring Fareed back? I don't know why. I don't know why Kenneth Fareed is not playing in this league right now. I don't understand it. He he also garnered in spots. He gained the three point shot. So now it's even more confusing to me. Not only could he rebound, block shots, you know, play defense, he added a little bit of a three point shot. He has some range. I don't get it. Um, get him, pick him up. I mean. I don't think you'd be mad, mind being 11th man, use him when you need him. I mean, just to get him in the NBA, unless there's some type of attitude issue, I don't understand. Or, or he has some beef with Harden or one of the stars. I don't get it. Uh, Russell Westbrook, again, the same facts continue to hit Russ. Obviously, another hot dribbler, by the way. Um, he's exciting. He can, he can bullet down a court at 100 miles per hour. He can dunk. He can pass. He can shoot the mid-range. Three-point range, free throws, Russell, 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 Russell. That's your weakness, man. It is. It's sad. That is his only, that's his only kryptonite is a three-point shot. But if he gets in rhythm, I notice he gets that, you know, once he gets that rhythm, you saw that. Once he gets that rhythm, he's on. I think they need to give him some rhythm dribbles, put him in spots where he can rhythm, rhythm dribble, okay? Need to get Russell Westbrook on the three-point line. Because teams are starting to say, go ahead and shoot it. And that's bad. So who are they not using? There's a guy named Carpenter. Okay, or, excuse me, Clements. Mr. Clements could replace Gerald Green. Mr. Clements is a bona fide scoring animal. They're not playing him enough. 
They need to play Clements. He could be borderline, scary, um, you know, eighth or ninth rookie of the year candidate if they play the kid. He's amazing. Think of Nate Robinson. You know, think of in, in that ilk, right? He's scoring Isaiah Thomas. Yes, he's that good. I'm telling you here first, off work. Remember, I'm always ahead. Clemens is a bona fide player in the NBA. And what he becomes, I can't call him a star because I don't know what the, what the coach is going to do with him. You got to play the kid. Get him some minutes. Get him acclimated, okay? He can prove very beneficial from a scoring perspective. I know Austin Rivers is there. I know you got McLemore. You're going with the bigger lineup for defense. But Clemens is a guy that, if given the opportunity, is going to torch some teams. He did it in the preseason. He can definitely do it in the regular season, even though the competition level is different. I think he has it in him. He's that type of player. Clint Capella has been great. I know that you, that's what you paid him for, okay? What he's doing right now is what you pay Clint Capella for, and that's just fact. So you can't you can't get over the fact Clint Capella is a great rebounder. He's a great block, shot blocker. He, he runs the lanes. He plays defense. You got to respect Cl uh, Clint Capella and what you're seeing out of him. Um, again, the, the defensive acres are still there. I don't want to get into that. I, I just I just think they need more defense. I think they need, need a little bit more size to be able to compete against the big boys, the long boys of the Clippers, the long boys of the Lakers. You're talking about McGee, Howard. You're talking about on the Clippers. You got Zubak, um, uh, and Harkless is kind of long. Uh, and then you got, you know, what's his name? I, I forgot what I call that kid. Um, I call him a fake, fake old, uh, ah, never mind. Anyhow, so... <laughs> So they, there's a lot of long type. There's long players on the on the opposite side of the floor. You know, George and, and Leonard are kind of long. George is definitely a long player. Uh, you need that size. You need that depth. I know they have House, uh, but they need something else. And I think Kenneth Reed pull, pull pull him in. I know Hartstein's there. He's he's improved. He's you know he was in the summertime working out in L.A. Uh, but I don't know about Hartstein, right? I just don't know. Maybe he needs more minutes to show me something. But I think they need another backup center. I loved Nerlens Noel to this team, but he didn't. He didn't come to fruition, and now they may have to find something on on the aftermarket to take that spot. Anyhow, this rant was about the Rockets. Where do I see them right now? I I did the review on them. I took my time and I said, you know, you know, to me, you know, they're you know between the third and fifth slot in the West. All right, uh, when it all comes down, when all the apples fall. Uh, when Clippers and Lakers totally gel. By the way, they haven't totally gelled yet, which is scary. It's not even there yet, folks. <laughs> it's not. It's not even there yet. Okay. So I think it's gonna be February. You, you get the total gel, and then it's on. I mean, it is on. So the, the you know the the Rockets have a long road to go. There's a couple teams that have totally totally gone against what I said they would do. Starting with the Portland Trailblazers, man, you guys hurting me, man. I look bad out here. I look bad. But I still think they can come back. Uh, we shall see. All four sports, my rant on the Rockets. Great team, great performances. They need Green back. They need Fareed. They need to play Clements. I'm out. Peace.